Hey guys, welcome back to the main channel and some actual reselling content. I know it's been a while thanks to the word we can't say on YouTube or else you get put in YouTube jail, which is why I think I was having so many problems. As when I was doing the reselling report, I was saying the C word a lot, not that C word, but the C word that's been going on over the past year. And I guess YouTube doesn't like that. And I think I got put in purgatory. Uh, so if you are so inclined to help me, there are three things that you can do. Number one, of course, is give this video a thumbs up um, and leave a comment below. It can be a smiley face, it can be an emoji, whatever. And the third thing is if you're able to share the video, there are little share buttons under the video. You can share it to Facebook, you can share it to Twitter. If you have a YouTube channel, you can share it and it'll show up on your community tab in your subscriber feeds. And that will really help me to say to YouTube, I'm here, quit suppressing my videos, thanks. But I have a good old fashioned vintage hard goods haul to sell on eBay. And hopefully now that the C word, not that C word, but the other C word is coming to a hopeful end, um, things are opening up, estate sales are starting up again and I can get out again without fearing for my life. I know this is a wonky camera angle as well, but I am surrounded by so much stuff. Um, uh, there haven't, my the estate sale companies I like haven't been having sales, I think it's like two weeks now. So I've had to reduce myself and go to some garage sales, which if you follow me, you know, I don't like them. I like my estate sales, I like my one-stop shopping, vintage stuff, but it's been nice to get out a little bit. And this past Friday, I went out to some garage sales and a new estate sale company in my area. Someone has started a company that the money goes to church. So I don't know if the homeowners actually even get anything or it's just a total donation situation, but whatever. They were having a half off day um, and I went and it was glorious. It was packed with vintage goodies and I was able to get really good stuff. I think stuff I kind of like at good prices. Everything I'm going to show you today uh, represents $120. And why does my nose itch as soon as I start filming? Always happens. $120. So total. And it's itching. Okay, let's just stick into it. Y'all, look at this. This is still in the box. It's a durable heat proof glass, Empress Carafe and Warmer from Inland. And this thing is beautiful, vintage, mid-century, modern glory, if I can get it out without breaking it. Okay, here's the Carafe part. There is a stand. Maybe if I would have left this out of the box before I started filming, it would have been easier. So this is what it looks like. Now, normally I don't pick this kind of stuff up because shipping, but it was in the original box. I could not help myself. This thing is just so, so, so cool. Not even to use, just to display. Um, I don't know if that's Bakelite. I don't think it is. I think it's just plastic. I gotta get my 409 to do some Bakelite testing to make sure. But anyway, um, that was at that estate sale. So I was super excited about that. Now you have to sit here while I try to get this thing back into the box. I'm uh, not quite sure. You go there. Not really. Mm -hmm. We'll do it that way. Okay, and in the box, does it have a date on it? Club Aluminum Products Company from the Inland Glass Works Division made in Chicago. There. Okay. <laughs> because this was cheap and it was in the box, one of these vintage, um, what are these called? What are you called? It's from Everest. It's a, uh, it doesn't even say what it is. It's, you know, a thing, coffee thing, iced tea, lemonade. Box has some water where it looks like on the top, but um, it doesn't appear to be used. It is the brown one. I wish it was the flower one, but it is unused, um, made in Japan. So yeah, again, because it was in the box, and I mean, I think I got it for like a dollar. So, you know, how could I not? I know you're like, well, you couldn't have, but no, I'm saying I couldn't. Got an ice bucket. This was in a garage sale, I believe an overpriced garage sale, but they did have this and it has a really cool gold, like ribbon, ribbing thing, um, made in Taiwan. So it does have some age to it and really good, clean condition. A lot of times find ice buckets and they've, you know, they, the, 
whatever the patina is pretty bad but this one is nice um so yeah that will be a nice holiday item i'm sure uh this i paid eight dollars for which i know is stupid i wasn't sure if it was one of the vintage ones or if it was any good at all but if i it's not to sell i'll just keep it and i can give it to one of the um nieces or nephews well the niece or the nephew great niece nephew um then this was at a two dollar garage sale everything was two dollars it is the countdown to christmas calendar with magnetic buttons it's a hallmark item and i love hallmark items myself i don't think they ever used this can i get it out of the box i'm not going to pull it all the way out can you see santa here's what it looks like and it's got magnets and you can put the magnets on the, and they're buttons and then you count down to christmas but again if that doesn't if that's not worth anything, that's something that I could keep myself because I love them in the Hallmark. Okay, this is a little vintage, I believe is a vintage. Made in Thailand. Yeah, so it's vintage. Um, just a little jack-o'-lantern. Is it electrical? Again, this was just cheap. I grabbed it. Okay, it doesn't have an electrical cord. You could easily put one in here, but it is a kind of funky vintage thing. Again, if this isn't worth anything, I would just keep it because I have a big Halloween collection. Um, but originally it was made for the Dayton Hudson Department Store Corp, which was probably Target at the time. Okay, what's next? Um, these two little things, I don't, I didn't know anything about these, but again, they were very inexpensive. Now they were originally sold at Walmart, but old Walmart, 1997. Um, made in China, or was this Kmart? Might have been Kmart, or it's somewhere else. It's got that. See the price tag. Santa's workbench. Wherever they were selling Santa's workbench, but these are the Obear family, and these are just too stinking cute porcelain teddy bears. Here's the one with the book. Uh, jointed arms and legs. A sweeter family you'll never find. Well, somebody had a, that should be fine. It says fine. A sweeter family you'll never find. They're loving, caring, and kind. You forgot the D. Sharing laughter and some tears. Their love grows stronger through the years. This is, hmm, is he the boy or the father? I think he's the boy, Benjamin, because he has a book. But he could be the father, Elliot. It doesn't say which one you are. You just, you just have to guess. I don't know. That is darn cute. I love teddy bears. I'm kind of getting back into my teddy bear collecting because I just find so many things. This is, I'm assuming that this is the girl, Brianna. Charming, pleasant, and a little bit shy. Brianna's a real sweetie pie. So feminine, sweet, and smart. She's sure to win your heart. And she's in a little ballet. Thing. I don't know. These are adorable. I've never seen them before. They're porcelain. They look, you know, nicely made, but so cute. Okay. Next, I grabbed this Wilton sports ball cake pan. Again, I don't know if this is anything, um, but I don't look stuff up when I'm out. If it's not good for eBay, uh, it goes to the consignment store. Is this missing something? Please don't tell me it's missing one of the parts. No, it just, Oh, it is! Shoot. No, it's not. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize they were nested. So you've got, you bake your cakes, and then you can put them together, and then you make a ball. I'm sure they still make these. This one is dated 1998, so it does have some age to it. So, you know, we'll see. Did I say I haven't looked anything up? I haven't looked anything up. Okay, um, another of the, one of those estate sale finds. Again, because it was, well, this is the box remnants at this point. Uh, it's the deluxe steak set in a plastic tray from Stanley. And I don't know if this is Bakelite, but it's 1950. I know you can rub it and smell it, but I like to do the uh, 409 test. Um, let's see if I can read what's on it. 
I can't. Not sitting here. But anyway, it's got the plastic tray, which again, I don't think that's big. Like, handles might be. Mm, I don't know. But anyway, here's the shredded box. And again, I think I maybe paid a dollar for these. So there's that. Next up is, if you know me, you know I have a problem with the vintage glass stuff in the boxes. This is likely not anything, but it was so cheap. It is made in Taiwan. It's not even a brand. Um, and I just like to, I just like these little things. I will use them uh, if it doesn't appear to be anything. And since it's not branded, it probably isn't, but it's got the um, etched, well, is that etched or raised? It's like a raised design in the back with the Christmas tree and the presents. And yeah, that's probably going to live at my house. That was dusty. Okay, this is a set of Courier and Ives plaques. They're blue and white and they had them nicely tied together. They're trivets or you can hang them. So what do they look like? Nice winter set. These are really, really pretty. Um, and says ABB on the back. The Farmer's Home Winter, Alone in the Wilderness, The Homestead in Winter, and The Old Homestead in Winter, Courier and Ives. I don't see, oh, Made in Taiwan, uh, Interpreter, Interpreter, I-N-T-E-R-P-U-R. -E I find a lot of that and now I don't know how to say it. But anyway, I couldn't not get that. Okay, I went to a garage sale of people who have garage sales like all the time. These two women, I think they're sisters. Um, and they, everything's really, they price high. And they had a shelf with um, Pillsbury Doughboy stuff on it. And I got some of it. They had cookie jars there and they also had an old McCoy cookie jar. I was like, are you sure you don't want that McCoy cookie jar? They had 20 on it. She's like, it's $147 on Etsy. And I said, is that the sold? or what someone's asking. So I told her, you know, you gotta go go to eBay, and I showed her how to do it on her phone, go to Solds, and you can see, and it was $20, if that. And then she was like, oh. So do we have them overpriced? I said, you have them priced what they're worth, which was $20. Oh, okay, good, which I meant to say, okay, you're gonna drag them back in your house. But anyway, <clears throat> um, a little Pillsbury Doughboy plush, still in the wrapper. Now this was made in China, so it's a newer release. Um, a little Pillsbury Doughboy ornament. Again, it is made in China, so a newer release, but really cute. And again, I might just keep this. I collect ornaments, so. Um, I got the napkin holder. It says flower and flower on the back. This was made in China again, but it is 1989 or 88. Benjamin and Wedwin. So it does have some age to it. Then I got the salt and pepper shaker set, which I don't believe is marked in any way. But there those are. And then I finally got this, which I guess is the, well, they have this little scoop in the back. I mean, you could put anything in it. But the fact that it's open, what would you use? You don't want to leave something open. You know what I mean? So I don't know what this was meant to be used for, although these are just really display pieces, but really, really cute. I love the Pillsbury stuff. Uh, this is 1988, the Pillsbury Company, and it's made in Taiwan. So these were probably sold, you know, at a department store, or maybe they were mail order. I'm not sure. I need to hold on a minute and go get a wipe because I'm feeling dirty. Okay, just a moment. Okay, back, back in clean hands. So, um, that estate sale, they had a box of the little bulbs, not full of course, but again, I grab these whenever I see them. I have a little box downstairs that I put them in. And when I have a decent size amount, I will lot them together. So if you find, you know, this bulb, these bulbs or old, uh, camera film at garage sale, estate sale, it doesn't matter if it's expired, people will still buy it if it's sealed or not used. So, and they usually have it so cheap because no one wants it. So good thing to grab. Like I said, save it up for lots. This just made me crack up and I had to get it. I think it was like 50 cents, but it's a Jolly Time popcorn fanny pack. I mean, come on. That is hysterical. This was probably like a free promo or maybe you sent in, um, 
your barcodes or something to get it, but that was just too funny. Uh, then they had this big, I shouldn't have even got this, but it was like a quarter. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have got this. <laughs> Old birthday candles. Some of them were new, so I did grab them. Like these were from Osco, which is now CVS here. We just call it Osco, but these are old, uh, clearly. Um, let's just see if there's a date. There's a few that are new. There's a new, um, some that are really old and gross. Yeah, so I don't know. I just grabbed it because my dad likes to go through this kind of stuff and, you know, look at it. So I don't know if any of that's worth listing. If not, I'll give it to somebody or use it. This, I love these things as well. These still in the box, um, little kitty sets. This just says three piece kitty set. Okay, this was originally sold at Kmart, but made in Japan. So definitely vintage. And this is the, oh, he even has the, original sticker on it from Kmart back in the day and I'm not gonna it's pretty packed in there um let me show you what it looks like when you put it together the bowl ends up being or the plate you turn it upside down on top of the bowl and it ends up looking like a hat and kids so this is the little boy one and that's just so stinking cute I got this because it was there at a sale and I just love this kind of stuff. It's a vintage Burt and Ernie. Um, we're friends, 1976 from Sesame Street, made in the USA. These don't tend to be worth very much, these old wooden puzzles, but you know, I just, I love them. And if nobody wants it, I'll keep it. This is a set of tins uh, made in Taiwan, so they are vintage. House of Lloyd Christmas Round the World. And there are two of them in here in the box, never used. Again, not, I wouldn't have picked it up except that they were still in the original box. Still wrapped. Yes, sirree. So there's two in here. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same with this. Uh, are those geese or ducks? Well, regardless, they're there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, brand new. So it's always hard to tell with tins if they're actually vintage, but made in Taiwan, that's a clear sign because China does not allow things to be stamped made in Taiwan anymore. They have to say made in China. Okay, this is something I got for myself. I collect snow babies um, and this was $3 at a garage sale. And it is this one here. And readers become leaders. Super cute, and I didn't realize it said readers become leaders. I wonder if it was like a teacher issue. I don't know. I will look it up, and if it's worth like a ton of money, of course I will sell it, but usually the ones that are like the Disney ones, um, there's some special ones out there, but anyway, I will keep it if it's not. I got this set of three wall plaques because they were... I do have the Inesco sticker from Japan on the back. Um, and this is just, it reminds me of um, the uh, Little House on the Prairie Mercantile, Olsen's Mercantile. So we've got this one with the heater thing there. Got the rocking chair. And then this one with the spinning wheel. Um, and they're like tiles that have been put in there. So anyway, I just thought these were really, this would match my decor because the kitchen table that I have um, from my parents is very old. Well, not old, old, but old enough that it was, you know, from the era where everything was brown. But I thought those were nice. This is a set of coasters and they are stamped Taiwan. And here's what they say on the back. It's um, Sanho. Trademark Taiwan. So we've got this cute little boy with his puppy. The little girl. What does it say? Just made in made in Taiwan. There's something I know. I guess that's all it says. Uh, this little girl baking the cookies with the cat. And then this 
girl in bed at night. And then this little boy asleep. There's five of them. That's odd to have a set of five coasters, but these are just precious porcelain. Um, and I just love the graphics. So you guys can just stack up for a minute because I need to take photos after I'm done with this. This I grabbed in a state or a garage sale just because it didn't really have much there, but it is 1991 Hearthstone made in the U.S. So with pottery, if it's, you know, engraved in the bottom, it's made in the USA or it's got, you know, a mark I recognize. But 1991, it's got some age to it. Cute um, stoneware. Good grief. Stoneware star dish. Um, let's see. Let me do it here. Uh, grab this hat. It is an NHL all-star hockey game, Boston 1996. Hockey has always done well for me because there isn't as much merchandise for hockey as there are as for baseball, football, basketball. So good, clean hockey hats, snapbacks. Is this a, I don't think this is vintage. Well, I mean, it's vintage so much so that it's from 1988. They did cut out whatever tag was there, just the fabric content, but still has the NHL, NHL tag. So I'll always get hockey if it's good, clean, and cheap. This is a vintage Herky the Hawk plush, Iowa Hawkeyes. I do well with Iowa Hawkeye merch. Um, it is made in Taiwan, so I know it's vintage, but you could also tell, like, this is vintage. But it's really good, clean, Herky plush. Um, university college stuff, you know, can be hit and miss. Iowa Hawkeye stuff I do really well with. There are a lot of Iowa Hawkeye fans across the country. Um, Iowa State which is in Ames, I don't do as well with. And UNI, which is in Cedar Falls, I don't do as well at. But the University of Iowa um, and some, especially like private small colleges because they don't make very much merchandise and their alumni is a little, you know, looking for it. But I will get Iowa Hawkeye stuff. This is a Sheffield Cutlery Forever Sharp made in England. <laughs> Probably won't include that. But it is just a set of like the barbecue, I don't know if you call this a barbecue set. I don't know, it doesn't really say much, but it is Sheffield. Again, I'll test that for Bakelite. I, mm, seems a little, I don't know, it could be, who knows? But anyway, a nice vintage set. Now the box is obviously lost its front. This was its front, uh, but it still has this card with it. And again, this was, couple bucks maybe a couple bucks this I rarely find really nice vintage um, Christmas items this is Lanisa made in West Germany so you know that it is older because it's before uh, the Berlin Wall fell one fancy treetop and it says one treetop manufactured from Max Eckhart and Son Y'all, it has a D on Eckhart, but that's our name. My family came from Germany, my dad's family. Oh my God, are you my ancestor? What, Max Eckhart, E-C-K-A-R-D-T, and sons. They may have changed their name somewhere along the way when they came to America. And it was like 19, or no, I'm sorry, 1860-some, my dad's, father's side came from Germany. Well, that's pretty darn amazing. And now I kind of don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I'll just show that to my, oh my gosh. That is so cool. I didn't realize that when I got it. I just thought, ooh, vintage ornament in a box. That's a rarity. Okay, because I now know what crackle glass is, I saw this, grabbed it. Y'all, I've got more crackle glass to list. I have a lot to list. I'm falling behind because I'm working on book stuff and between books and eBay and YouTube and being a full-time caregiver, it's a lot. I got this set. It is heirloom fine bone china made in England. It's got the fruit pattern. I don't know if this is anything great. Um, it definitely looks a lot more modern, but it was a dollar, I think. So I got that. Then I grabbed these two little things. They are both the same. They're plastic hut, educational and funny toy. Build your own hut. Uh, let's 
see what it looks like here, like a little chicken coop. Oh my gosh, and it's full, full of, I didn't realize that. They're both full of little animal. Well, how do you do? That's adorable. Okay, we'll just look at this one. <laughs> I can't get that one in the box. Plastic hut, build your hut. Here's the front. And yeah, this is what it looks like. And look at all the little, it's got all kinds of like a pen in there, all kinds of little animals. I don't, let's see if it's got a mark of a country mark where it was produced. Hong Kong, very nice. This was on a dollar table and they had them both. And if it's vintage and in a box, it comes home with me. Well, if I can afford it. I lost a duck or a goose or a geese or a bird. You get back in there. Well, that's a fun find. All right. This mug, we have Good Morning, You Old Grouch and Good Morning, Dear. There were actually two of them, but the other one has a crack in it. They're kind of a nice oversize. I love that handle and the vintage graphics. And this is made in Japan. So, you know, it has age to it. And the reason I always say, you know, it has age when it's made in Japan uh, because Japan doesn't make things anymore like this, the way America doesn't, right? Everything's outsourced to China. So back when Japan and the U.S. actually manufactured things like this and it's marked, that's a good way to know that it is vintage. Obviously, Japan makes cars and electronics. They don't really produce this stuff anymore. It's made in China. And Taiwan, I always say, you know, it's vintage because the situation with uh, Taiwan and China, uh, China claims Taiwan to be its part of its country. Taiwan says their own but um, things are now just stamped China, even if they are technically made in Taiwan. So if they're marked Taiwan, you know it's vintage. This I just had to get, it's just a vintage Wonder Thermos. Um, Alpha products made in the US, really good clean. I think the person might have worked at a Wonder Bread, either delivery or, because there were some other things there like this, or who knows, we had a Wonder Bread plant in our city um, years ago. It is now closed and it's a brewery. I don't know if you guys got this type of stuff at the uh, county fair when you were a kid, but yeah, this is a genie, uh, genie toys. It uh, was see, like made in Taiwan, Republic of China. Um, they dream of, they dream of genie stuff toys. Yeah. And it doesn't have a date, but yeah, you know, this is vintage and this is the kind of stuff you would go to the county fair or your amusement park in your city and you would win this kind of stuff. And this is in excellent condition. I've not seen one. You, know, you see these a lot, but they're, you know, they've got like cotton candy stains on them. That was a good one. Oh, this is another thing I got at that sale with the uh, Pillsbury stuff just because it's older. Don't have tags on it. They may have cut off. It's a little dirty, but you know, had to save them. Nobody else seemed to want them. Uh, this is John Deere Can Cozy. Again, not anything like super great, but it is the vintage, as you can tell, with the John Deere legs. The hind legs are up off the ground. If the hind legs were touching the ground, like the front is, you'd know it's the newer logo. So that's the vintage logo. Uh, this is Central Intermediate, which is a school here, so they must have been doing some collaboration. But this will go into a lot with some other um, John Deere ephemera that I pick up. Then I grabbed this set of salt and pepper shakers. They are Nesco, made in Japan. Christmas, this dark green with the holly on the bottom. They've got their stoppers. This I got for myself. Um, it is Grimace from McDonald's. Is Grimace even around? Are, are any of the McDonald's Land characters like Hamburglar, any around? Because when I was a kid, back in my day, they were yeah, round, and one of one of the Happy Meal toys once, or stop price over times, were combs. And I remember getting like the Grimace comb, and I'm like, I comb like you comb your hair, not Barbie toys or Star Wars or whatever they do now. But you'd get like a Grimace comb. I bet I still have it somewhere. Then I stopped at a sale that was pretty. It's a, with it's a chron a chronic garage sailor as I call them. Um, somebody who has a sale all the time, but she has some Starbucks mugs. They were $2, which was pretty too much, 
but you know, I was out and about and I wanted to get something. Uh, this is from 2008, just the regular plain Starbucks logo. And this logo almost looks a little crooked. I think it is. Then we have a big one with the red. This is from 2008 as well. We have this one with the logo and this is from 2007. And then we have this one. It is from 2007 as well. Like that. So, you know, with the Starbucks mugs, it's usually the nowadays the tumblers, uh, the fancy tumblers or the mugs that are from different countries or cities. But, you know, I'm, I'm old school, still gonna get the Starbucks. These, these, this, I can't speak. Just two little plastic trays. Oh, only one is marked. Will Ross made in USA, the other one isn't. So again, this is just something I grabbed. Probably shouldn't have, but I don't know. Whatever. This is a very nice glass stein. It is the 23 year dry spell broken um, by the Iowa Hawkeyes in the Rose Bowl of 1982. And I don't, I mean, I'm sure I've seen one of these over the years, but I don't remember seeing it like this. Usually they're the um, ceramic steins, but very, very nice. It's the seam. Someone didn't really do a good job of designing this. The seam from the glass is going straight up. But anyway, I will always get Hawkeye Bowl stuff if it's affordable and in good shape. Um, this Children of the World, 1992. Um, and this is England hand-painted figurine. Again, it was cheap. I just grabbed it. Um, sometimes, you know, you find these things are kind of valuable. Sometimes they're not. It's probably just a mid-range thing. But here you go. And 1991. Made in China. So when China started producing more stuff. But anyway, again, it was there. It was cheap. It was in the box. That's my motto. I know I'll get questions. Why don't you look stuff up? Okay, number one, trying to get self-service is a challenge and um i am looking to buy in bulk so if i go to place and stuff is relatively inexpensive it's vintage i'm just gonna get it and deal with it later if it ends up not being like if i were to look this up and it wasn't worth anything being listed i do have a consignment store i could take things to and they would probably take this um so i don't worry about it it'll sell somewhere and i don't have time I, I've seen so many people at sales that are in a corner on their phone looking stuff up while you have an entire house of stuff that they could just be getting and they miss everything because they're worried about looking up like one thing. I better look up this mug before I get it. I'm like, no, I'm just going to get it. It's cheap. Get it. Look it up later. Well, don't get it. Look it up and let me get it. This is another in the box thing. Uh, this is L.E. Smith Glass Company made in Pennsylvania, animates the candle lamps that come alive. Do you see what we see? The pattern dances on the frosted globe when the candle is lit. And this is the nativity one. So you would light this, it's already been lit clearly, um, and then it would glow. And I'm kind of now looking at it and thinking, I really like that and I'm not sure I want to sell it. Let me know if you've seen these before, if you have them. They have other, they had other designs, but it's the nativity one and now I like it. Do you wanna live at my house with me? Yes, okay. Then we have a Hallmark um, album. Again, if these are in the box or unused, I will get them. It is 50th anniversary. So this, you know, this kind of anniversary stuff doesn't tend to do great, but again, it's cheap. It was in the box. It's um, unused. And for a 50th wedding anniversary, you can get that. Oh, one more Pillsbury thing. A little straggler over here. Still has the tag. Little beanie. And this is 1997 on him. So that's. I got three more things. I normally don't get this kind of stuff, but again, it was in the box. And what is rolling around? It is the 50th anniversary set. A toast, or is it just a wedding? Oh, it's wedding. 
Yes, I'm sorry. I thought it was 50th anniversary. Toast to the bride. Why is, why is it upside down? Toast to the bride and groom. I think my dad put it upside down. So it's got a knife to cut and then the glasses are etched. Bride, groom. Um, I don't see any marks. Here is the knife. I don't see any markings for a brand. But just because it is vintage and in this, just, I love it. I just love the packaging. Um, and it, nobody's gonna buy this at the estate sale. So I had to. What did my dad do here? Here we go. Here's how it's supposed to be. Get the lid on opposite. A little awkward, but you know. Two more things. Uh, first, this just a Nordic wear bunt pan. I don't have a bunt pan. Uh, anymore. So again, if this one doesn't end up being anything good, ooh, but it is the orange. Ooh, or kind of a red. We'll scrape there on the bottom. Um, where did it go? Did you know this thing, did it have a pink one? Pink, yellow, orange, of course, green. But yeah, pretty. I like that one. Um, just looking for a date. Look for Pillsbury Bunt Cake Mixes at your favorite food stores. When it's got the recipes on the box. Just looking for a date. Or a country. Well, these are USA, right? I don't see any date of manufacturer. But the box and the pan itself, you know, you know, you know, you know. I don't see a date of manufacture. But anyway, love that. I think, I think it was a dollar. And then finally, the last thing, I couldn't not get this. Uh, this is a vintage Aladdin uh, vacuum carafe. And I only bought it because of color. Look at that blue. That is so nice. I don't think this was ever used. It looks extremely good condition. Um, yeah, I just, I couldn't not get it with the color and the fact that it had the box as well. And made in Japan. So yeah, I just, I mean, seriously, I loved it. And that is everything guys. That's everything from my mega vintage haul. Uh, so hope you enjoyed that. Now, like I said, that I'm getting out more, um, I can hopefully get more and do more dedicated reselling videos here on this channel during the C word, P word. Um, we weren't really having estate sales and I was terrified to leave my house. So things are opening back up and I feel a little bit better now. So we'll see, hopefully I'll have some more things to share with you. And I am doing the weekly sold videos on this channel as well. Those go up on Sundays. So that being said, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And with that, I will see you um, whenever I have something else to show you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.